Today I'm going to demonstrate the functions of the X9100 GSM telemetry engine. First, download the X9100 configuration utility from the Warwick Wireless website download section. When it has been successfully installed on your PC, click on File, click on New Configuration, click on Bank Configuration. Close the incoming SMS GPRS commands. The first thing that should be done is to enter a mobile phone number or GPRS address. So click on mobile phone numbers, GPRS addresses, mobile phone, GPRS addresses. Click on add new GPRS address and mobile phone number. Click on type mobile number or email address here and then type in the destination phone number of where you want the text messages to go in international format. In this case it will be plus four four one two three four five six seven. Next we're going to enter a URL of a web server where we click on type mobile numbers email addresses and then enter a URL which in this case will be www.my-data.me in forward slash upload dot JSP question mark C equals 80 where 80 is the port of the of the server press save the next operation is to compose a, a new message so we go to outgoing messages outgoing GPRS and SMS messages, add new message. Click on enter <coughs> new message here and the edit box appears. For this demonstration we're going to monitor the level of a tank with a 4 to 20 milliamp transducer and send the level to a website and also to a mobile phone. The first thing to do is to uh, click on the drop down menu and select the sender ID. This is a unique number allocated to each X9100 and will identify where the message came from. The next thing is to enter a time date stamp. which will be inserted by the real-time clock when the message is sent. We then type in the message tank level and it's going to be the value of the first analog input A in naught. So that is selected on the drop-down menu. insert and this is going to be in centimeters. We press OK and the message appears in the add new messages box. We close this window. The next thing to configure is the event that is going to send this message to both the website and the mobile phone. So we click on outgoing messages, digital port and time alarm message triggers. Add new digital port or time alarm trigger. What we're going to do is to send this message every 15 minutes to the website and to the mobile phone. So on the port name or time alarm we select delay time alarm. 
The trigger direction is left blank, and we're going to send message MS0 to mobile phone GPRS address MN0. That will send the message every time the delay timer is triggered to the mobile phone. Next we're going to send it the same message at the same time to the website. So it will be on the delay timer. Uh, the message will be the same, MS0, to this time MN1. We save the settings. We can now test whether our configuration has been successful by opening the simulator. All the parameters of the X9100 can be tested here. So if we click on delay time alarm, we can see that both, me both messages are sent. One by SMS to a mobile phone, the second by GPRS to the My Data website. If you grab hold of the analog slider for A in naught and click on again, we can see that the level has changed from 0 to 427 centimetres. But this is a linear reading, so we have to configure it for a 4 to 20 milliamps input. So we go to port configuration, analog port configuration, analog input ports, and we can put, configure the port minimum to 200, which is the offset for the 4 milliamps. The port maximum is left at 1023. The reported value, this will be in centimetres, is zero, and the maximum value is will be 1,000. So in effect, we'll be me measuring zero to 10 metres. If you want to uh, put added accuracy in, the 200 should really be 212 as the offset, four milliamps. Close that down, open the simulator once more, and click on Delay Timer. Take the slider to about half scale, click on the Delay Timer again, and you can see that the scaled value is about 543, which is half scale, with the offset of the analog set at 212. Close the simulator. Now it might be that we want to interrogate this X9100 at any time to see whether what the status of the tank is. To do this, we would enter a command. So we go to incoming commands, click on add command. Our command is going to be status. Uh, we, we're not going to set a parameter to a value. We're going to send an outgoing message, which will be MS0, to the mobile phone MN0. If we open the simulator and type the message status, in the incoming SMS message box and click on receive, the status will be sent, the message status will be sent with a tank level. It might be that we'd want to log the results of the tank and send it to the website once a day. For this, we'd enter a new message which would be the value of the tank uh, and at the time it was taken. So we'd use the date timestamp. And the value of the analog input. 
which will be 8 and 0. We'd OK that. And we'd have to send, we have to compose a new message which will send the contents of the log to the website, which would be simply the parameter log. We'd go to outgoing messages, just report and uh, time alarm triggers, add a new digital report and time alarm trigger. Um, we'll be taking the values of the, uh, uh, of the event triggered by the delay timer and it would send the message MS1 to the log. We'd also need to send the contents of the log once every 24 hours so for this we'd use the time alarm and we'd send message MS2 to the website MN1. So we go to the simulator, open the simulator, set an analog value, trigger the delay time and you can see that the message has been put into the log change the value, click on the delay time and again it's been put into the log. So when the time alarm occurs the two values that have been in the log have been sent to the website via GPRS. Now once the configuration is complete the PC that this has been running on is connected via the PC programming cable to the X9100 and the date time settings can be set. For our delay time we can set it at 15 minutes and to send the contents of the log to the website every 24 hours we could say we'd send it at midnight which would be zero, 00. Then clicking on set time and alarms will download these values along with the current time to the X9100. To download the configuration we go file, download configuration, select the COM port that the um, USB to serial converter is set on and press download. To save the configuration to the file on a PC, we go save, con save configuration to file, select, give it a good name and press save. This has been a, a demonstration of the X9100 um, and once it's been loaded into the X9100 uh, it can be deployed.